everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we're taking a look today at the QZ stand. They sent this to the show to review, and I am not having a good time with this stand. Let me, let's go through, and I'll show you exactly what it does and how it works. So basically, you've got an arm that extends here. This works with just about any tablet. However, the arm doesn't extend up high enough to put an iPad uh, in uh, portrait mode. It kind of bites it here. Um, uh, you can't really get an iPad into portrait mode with it because the arm just doesn't extend high enough. This is an iPad Air, so I think maybe the Mini would probably fit in here, but uh, the Air certainly doesn't, or any other larger tablet uh, will certainly not uh, work in uh, portrait mode. Landscape mode, of course, works fine, and what you're supposed to do is uh, push the arm down and then have these little legs at the bottom here kind of give way, and it's supposed to like lock in uh, to prevent uh, your uh, iPad from slipping out. However, mine is starting to fall apart already, and you can listen to all the pieces of plastic rolling around inside of there, and I think those were the stoppers, because when I push mine down, it doesn't lock into place, and the iPad tends to slip out uh, pretty easily, especially the more you work with it. So um, not very good as a gripper for the iPad. Um, what you do have on the back here is a adjustable kickstand, so you can uh, orient the uh, iPad down to about this far. Um, and it isn't so stable the farther down you go. So this is really more of a, uh, of a device for watching movies or something like that. It's a little bit more stable when you push it up a little bit. Uh, you can also flip this around. So if you kind of wanted to try to get it into a tablet um, or a portrait orientation, you could do that. Um, however, it's pretty much, no, you know, it's just barely holding it up here because the iPad is just slipping right out. Um, you can go down to another mode here as well. Uh, which will go all the way down so you could uh, try to type on it after you reposition everything and uh, work with it but it gets very unstable uh, the, the lower it gets to the desk surface so um, so I'm, I'm really you know I'm not too sold on this one this is uh, I've only been playing with this now for like the last 25 minutes uh, it's falling apart I, literally you can hear all the plastic bits just kind of rattling around in here and I think uh, the build quality needs a little bit of work this is Lon Seidman thanks for watching